Hi guys, so today I have my old phone and I had to put the light on because the dark filming with this phone is not good but then again I can put the light on and I can't do that with my new phone which is kind of frustrating. As you can see I picked up my ex's dog again, he's gonna work, not the dog but my ex, <laughs> he's gonna work some extra shifts now over Christmas and New Year so this dog is going to be here, but well, he's become a chunker of my ex, but the dog, check that out. Usually my dog is the thick one, and now he is like twice her size. Yeah, my dog is the one on the on the right, and <laughs> you want to play? Hi! Um, and, you know, the, his vest almost didn't button on the bottom, around his belly. He's become a chunker, he's like... <laughs> table. Okay, I'm gonna let my girl loose now. Hang on a second. Hey, Anta. Rocka. Anta. I need to swap hands and try and. Hey! Sluta! Oops. Sorry. <laughs> the more laugh, the worse. Hey, stop. Okay, so I'm gonna try and unleash my dog now, but she's, she's too excited. I can't. Hey, come hard. Hi. So still. <laughs> Sorry, you're watching my glove for the moment. There. Now oh, she's loose. And I dropped my glove somewhere. I don't know where it went. Anyway, now I can take you. The other hand, there we go. And my girl is gone. <laughs> she just raced home. Anyway, so uh it's the 22nd, I think now. No, what? I don't know. I, I'm awake at night and up all kind of half the day and then sleep in the middle of the day and then I'm up again. So I'm kind of, the days kind of get blurred. I believe it's 4 a.m. Tuesday morning. I hope. <laughs> um, I'm going to head into... I was going to say the city, but not the next door village where they have a store and pick up a package. Uh, I ordered some extra vitamin D's and uh, a few other things. I had a really good... I've been going over my membership cards and I found so many places where I had a lot of points where I haven't used. So I've been using like all my points now. So I actually have food for Christmas. That's amazing. Just by using up my points on the membership card on my grocery store. Awesome. And also did the same with the pharmacy. Also did the same with another place where I buy copy paper and stuff like that. So I've been using up my a lot of my points and stuff lately. And I got so much stuff just from that. Plus, uh, you're speeding around. There she goes again. Can you tell she's 19? She's 19. The girl running away there. <laughs> she's 19. He's 9. He is 9 and she's 19. You know, and if they've been lying down, if she's been sleeping, you can tell that she's old because she's a bit stiff and problem walking right when she gets up. She has to walk around for a bit before she can move properly. But look at that. Does that look like a 19 year old dog to you? But she is. She was, uh, I got her 2008, for those of you who don't know, I got her 2008. And the vet, veterinary then said that she was between 5 and 7 years old. So she, 2008, she was between 5 and 7 years old. And I've had her now for 12 years. It's going to be 13 years, I think, in February, if my math is correct. So she's old. Well, that means she's between 18, 19 or 20 years old. But, you know, the average 19 <laughs> in February. If my math is correct, I might be wrong. But anyway, she's an old dog, but she's a happy dog. 
He's not so happy because we've come home again. He want to walk more. I don't. Ouch! She just bumped into me. She's a heavy dog. Hi. 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 Uh, anyway, so what are you guys going to do for Christmas? That's one of the things I wanted to ask. Uh, in Sweden, we celebrate Christmas and open packages and stuff on the 24th, on the afternoon and evening on the 24th. Uh, and I know others celebrate on the morning on the 25th, and some don't celebrate at all, and all kinds of stuff. For me, a perfect Christmas is eating yummy stuff, like good cookies, good food, maybe drinking something nice. I won't be having anything nice to drink this year, but I'm okay with that. I chose to buy chocolate instead. <laughs> I value that higher. <laughs> um, so to eat something yummy, like cookies and good food and stuff, and also to just relax and watch like movies and stuff, and also walk the dogs. Because when I walk the dogs, I can eat more. Yeah, he's so calm. I'm not sure what's up with him. He's super calm and he's become really chunky. I'm glad I'm going to have him for a while. He's going to lose some weight. Um, I was talking to his owner, my ex, and they don't walk as much as me and my old dog do. And he needs more more than she does normally. So, But he's a happy dog. It's nice that he's a bit calmer. He He used to be really like skittish and jumpy and he hasn't been mistreated or anything he's just just haven't been around much i mean when i get dogs uh, i usually bring them with me everywhere but he's been like living in a village um uh, the same family and then all of a sudden my ex bought him because they didn't have time for him uh so my ex bought him to hunt moose with because he's a moose hunting dog He's a uh, pure bread. It, the bread is the breed is called uh, Hella Foschere, and if I remember to, I'm gonna put a link to more information about the breed down in the description box below. Yeah, P on the P on everything. Um. So the first two three years when my ex had him, this guy. Instead of hunting moose, he ran over it because we have a lot of sled dogs, com sled dogging companies and stuff up here. This guy ran over to because uh, during moose hunting season, usually the females are in heat, so that's where he was. He didn't care about moose; he cared about the ladies. He wanted to be with the ladies, so finally, so all my ex did was just. He had to quit hunting and go to find his dog because his dog just took off. And he went to get his dog. He went to get his dog. Like, he couldn't even hunt with him. It was, like, pointless. And he, he had enough of that, so he spayed him, neutered him, whatever. I don't know which is which, but snip, snip. Ball's gone. And then he went from hunting ladies to hunting mice. Little mice and rodents. That's the most fun thing he knows. And uh, my ex said the hunting season, the first hunting season after they snipped his balls, he didn't run after the ladies, but he was so obsessed with the mice that he was uh, digging for mice and a moose walked by just like 50 meters away from him and he didn't even notice he was so focused on the mice digging digging them up so uh yeah <laughs> it didn't quite work so he's been asking me for a few years now if i want to take over him but i don't know the problem with him is since he's been uh, a hunting dog all his life i can't have him loose and whenever he gets loose he takes off like you, you need to have a gps on him because you have no idea where he goes and also, I can't trust him with other dogs. Sometimes it works fine, and other times it just <clears throat> right away, right away into fighting mode. And I, 
he's hard to read. I can't, not even um, his owner can tell when it's going to happen. It just, he just like snaps. Now, I never have to worry with my girl because every dog is sweet to her and she's sweet to every dog. And even the few times where other dogs have bit her, she doesn't do anything. So there's never any fighting. She's just super sweet and super nice. So I, I never have to worry with her with other dogs. But this guy, I can't fully trust. I know a few dogs that he met that works fine and those were okay to meet. But other dogs, I don't know. And there's another dog in the village here. They usually go out walking. And that dog is the same as this. It's not the same breed, but same mentality. Really sweet, cuddly dogs. And they both work with her really well. But um, when those two come anywhere near each other, they're like kill mode. <laughs> it's like they hate each other. Um, so I have a few dogs that I know he doesn't go with and a few dogs that I know he does go with. But every new dog that we meet, I can't trust him because I never know. And you can't tell on him. He goes from, from nothing to full on fight. So that's a bit worrying, but he's super sweet with people. He's really sweet with other animals. Never had an issue with my cats. You know, my cats are thankfully used to dogs, so they have their methods of keeping the dogs in shape. And also when I had the bunnies, he was really sweet with them too. And bunnies are really big personalities, so they usually rule the household, which is kind of funny. But also, I mean, I have big dogs and my cats were bigger than my latest bunny. I should say my last bunny because my allergies won't let me have a bunny again. It's not the bunny itself. It's the hay. That gives me trouble. Um, But anyway, so he's really sweet with kids. He's sweet with, I mean, his owner have, his uh, siblings has children. And the children, you know, play with him. And they can be pretty rough with him too. And he's really sweet with that. It's just other dogs. And just some other dogs. So I can never fully trust him. And that's really sad. And now they are both so bored. Look at those hanging tails. They're like, are we going to go inside? Or are just going to stand there and yap? Yeah, I'm going to just stand here and yap a bit. Because I know what's waiting for me inside. And that's doing all the dishes. Because I'm going to start doing the Christmas food tomorrow. Now, well, today actually. But after I've slept. And in about four hours or so, I'm going to go to the store and pick up my package. He likes the snow. He's so, he loves snow. Um, so I'm actually going to stay up until they open so I can do that right away in the morning. And then get some sleep and then get some shit done. So, uh, hope you guys are doing okay. And let me know, what are your plans for Christmas? What do you, what are your ideal Christmas and what are you actually going to do? Um, I'm actually going to have my ideal Christmas. My ideal Christmas is eating good, watching some good movies, taking it easy, walking the dogs in between and just exist. I love that. That's the perfect Christmas for me. Absolutely perfect Christmas. And I'm getting all that because I was smart enough to check my membership cards on all the stores and used up all my points so I actually have food a lot of nice really good yummy food and also chocolate that's awesome I didn't expect that so I'm happy I'm happy with that I'm happy with that hey you're so bored that tail is just hanging like I don't know putty, 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 putty. am I messing with you Wee. oh you're so um, she's got her, that little thing back in her eye there. Can we show you? You see that? This lump is coming back. But it's not on the inside, it's on the outside. And I showed it to, uh, I took a picture of it and sent it in. And they said, as long as it's on the outside and doesn't hurt her, she's not annoyed by it or in any way or so. So it's fine, we can leave it, we don't need to take it away. 
Yeah, you're fine with this, aren't you? Mm, you must be possible. Yeah, you're good, you're bro. My, 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 my. Mm, she's so sweet. I love my little girl. I love my little girl. She's so sweet. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now and I'm gonna go inside and get some stuff done. Let me know down in the description what do you think. And not in the description, but the comment section. <laughs> Check out the description. I'm gonna see if I can find the information about his breed in um, in English. I know where it is in Swedish. I just don't know if the site has an English text to it too. But I'm gonna see if they do. Because that's a Swedish breed. And I thought maybe that's interesting to know about. It's a hunting breed and they're pretty tough. It's pretty tough dogs. Um, and also usually really sweet. They are... They have some guarding tendencies in them, but so far he at least hasn't showed anything. And my previous dog, I don't know if he's filmed. I don't know if he was still around when I started my YouTube channel. I'm not sure. Um, but he had a bit of that breed in him too. And I'm thinking she's probably got some of that breed in her because... She has a lot of the same build, except for the face, the head. The head is not the same breed, but a lot of it is, um, a lot of the build and stuff is very similar. But I don't know. I'm not sure. She's so sweet. Hi, you're sweet too. Yeah, you're sweet too. Yeah, you are. He's just, he's so happy just laying in the snow. That's what he would love to do for the rest of his life. Just lay in the snow and be cool. I actually had to open the balcony early, earlier because it was too hot for him inside. So I opened the balcony for him so he could. He, then he was lying at the, by the door to the balcony. And he was so happy about that. We all get happy about very different things, don't we? I don't like the cold. He does. <laughs> Hope you guys have an amazing day. Let me know how you're going to spend Christmas. How you want to spend Christmas. And do you have a dog? Or do you prefer cats? Let me know. <laughs>